All right, in this video, we're going to be discussing the business practice concept of cost of goods sold and how it is related to the massage therapy profession. So let's go ahead and dive into this material. Cost of goods sold is the amount of money it takes to create a product that you will then sell. In other words, cost of goods sold is how much money it costs to manufacture this product that you will end up selling. Now, some of this money that we will end up spending will be on raw materials, usually at their wholesale price, meaning you'll buy these materials in bulk at a lower price and then increase the final selling price when you charge the customer. It could be on packaging of the actual product. This doesn't involve the shipping cost. Shipping costs are oftentimes covered by the customer unless you're running a free shipping promotion. It's the packaging of the actual product, meaning the aesthetic of the product. And then the labor to produce the product. You may have a team who helps you make these products. You would need to pay your team for their labor. For example, let's say that we want to create a custom made massage therapy product. Some products we can create are gels, lotions, and creams. So cost of goods sold would be the amount of money it took to create these products. Some of the raw materials we're going to need for our custom made products may be some glass bottles with their dispensers, pre-printed labels, carrier oils such as plant-based jojoba, olive or coconut oil, essential oils such as Lang Lang, lavender or peppermint oil, depending on the intent of the massage oil. So let's say we want to create a muscle ache massage oil, something our client can use when their muscles are sore and achy. So let's run through the raw materials we're going to need to produce this product. First, we're going to want to purchase some glass bottles with pumped dispensers for our oils. Let's say we purchase these glass bottles at a wholesale price of $30 for a 12 pack of 12 ounce glass bottles. We would also like to purchase labels so we can label our products with our logo, the ingredients of the product, and the product's name. Let's say we find a wholesale price of $6 for three pre-printed sheets that we will place on our finished products. Now, we need to purchase a carrier oil. We decide we're going to begin with a high grade organic extra virgin olive oil. We purchase this carrier oil at a wholesale price of $60 for seven pounds. We also need to purchase some essential oils. So we decide we're going to begin with a blend of pure essential oils for muscles. Some of the essential oils in this blend are chamomile, citronella, eucalyptus, lemongrass, peppermint, rosemary, spearmint, and oregano, just to name a few. And we've purchased this blend for $28 for a two fluid ounce bottle. Now, we also want to incorporate an aesthetic packaging design for our product so our customers get that appealing and unique look that our product offers. So we purchased 12 black boxes for $18. Also, we purchased some crinkle paper for our filler in the boxes for another $8. And then finally, we purchased some clear plastic bags to seal our massage oil for when we ship the product to the customer. That way we don't have to worry about the oil spilling all over the box. We purchase 100 count for $8. Now the total cost of raw materials is $158, meaning that it costs roughly $13 to create each bottle of muscle ache massage oil. Now that we have the raw materials for our muscle ache massage oil, we can begin to create the product. And after the product is made, we need to figure out how much we will charge for each bottle of muscle ache massage oil. For simplicity, let's just set the price at $60 for our final product. Now, let's say we get super lucky and all 12 of our bottles of muscle ache massage oil sell on the first day of launching them on our website. In our financial statement, more specifically the business's income statement, our net sales of 12 bottles for $60 each will be $720. And underneath net sales will be cost of goods sold of $158. Remember that this is the money it took to manufacture our products. So we're going to subtract this value from our net sales, leaving us with a gross margin of $562 before taxes and operating expenses. I have been asked if there will be any kind of math on the exam. And keep in mind, on the Inblex, there will be no calculations of any kind. This is just to give you an idea of what exactly cost of goods sold are. Remember, cost of goods sold is the money that it takes to create a product. This can be raw materials, can be the packaging of the product, and or the labor to create the product. Make sure you know what cost of goods sold 
means. It is likely you will see this information on the Inblex. Remember that the Inblex will cover anywhere from 13 to 15 percent of guidelines for professional practice. That means there will be anywhere from 13 to 15 questions that may cover materials like this. So make sure you know this stuff. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can find me on the Teachable platform or you can send me an email. You can find this email in the about me section of our YouTube channel. Also make sure to check out the digital resources and hard copy resources that are available on the Etsy account as well as the Teachable platform. Also make sure you check out the Inblex practice questions that are available on the Teachable platform if you haven't already. There are a hundred multiple choice questions custom made by me. Keep in mind they are heavy in anatomy and physiology, kinesiology and ethics because those are my favorite subjects. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. This helps me reach other aspiring massage therapists, reach their goal of becoming licensed massage therapists. Y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.